Good morning, Idaho 516 right now on this Tuesday morning. And if you're worried about some slick spots on the morning commute this morning, could be a possibility, especially on those back roads. It's not that we've seen snow overnight, at least not in the Treasure Valley, but the temperatures are well below freezing. So there's still a possibility of the moisture that's still there causing some slick spots. Now, there's, there are a few snow showers that are lingering just to the southwest of us, but those will stay in the Owyhee Mountains and sort of swing through the Magic Valley later this afternoon. There's a chance of snow showers there. 24 in Twin Falls right now, but I want to show you the wind speeds. You can see they pick up as you get toward Mountain Home into the Magic Valley. The winds are looking a lot like what you're seeing in Mountain Home right here. That's what's dragging the real feel of those temperatures down to feel like 10 degrees in Twin Falls, 11 degrees in Mountain Home, into the teens in Ontario as well. So please remember, wear that jacket. I know when the sun came out after the inversion broke, everybody was thinking, oh, okay, spring's on the way. Not quite the case because we're in for another cold snap. Now, this isn't a cold snap due to an inversion. It's just plain cold, and it looks like it'll be with us for the better part of this work week. There's those snow showers I was talking about staying well to the southwest of I-84, so hopefully not going to see any snowflakes, but we will keep a chance, a slight chance of some snow flurries over the area through the next few days. That's because what our weather system's doing, even though we're getting this very cold Arctic air blasting in from the north as it's rotating clockwise around this high pressure to the north of us, it's swinging through the Pacific enough to pick up enough moisture to keep that slight chance of snow showers over our area for the next few days, and the very cold air will only get cold Older. As we head toward Wednesday, I said it, about 20 degrees below seasonal averages. For today, though, just a few degrees knocked off of yesterday's highs, although the winds out of the northwest, it will make it feel just a little bit chillier. So the high for Boise, 32, probably going to feel more like it's in the mid-20s. You know, you get that sunshine out there, but don't let it fool you. You walk outside, you'll definitely need to bundle up. That's the same story for the Magic Valley as well. A breeze there with a slight chance, again, about a 30% chance of seeing some snow showers late in the day. And that's the same story for the Boise, West Central Mountains as well. McCall only making up to a high of 19 degrees, but check out the East Central Mountains just when you thought it couldn't get any colder. Stanley, 10 degrees in for a high of 10 degrees today with a little bit of sunshine peeking through. Here's a look at my on your side extended forecast. That uh, air coming out of the north will be with us for the better part of this week, but as we head into the weekend and into the beginning of next week, our flow shifts from out of the west and it will be a wetter, more wintry pattern with some snow showers expected. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Spencer, Rachel.